Hello, welcome to the beautiful world of Dismantle. I've been playing a little bit of camera because even if a blind playthrough is amazing, it's just a lot of problems regarding the pathfinding. So I, I mapped most of the locations except for this one because this one seems like it's, it's an important one and it will be first account and also the coastal coast lab dogs as well. Also collected a lot of gold or I fished most of the fishing spots. And I didn't touch anything related to the houses or the buildings or the quests or anything like that. So, let's begin. <laughs> Use this sword inside, you destroy half of the house. I'm not sure why my character holds his head like that. Might be a bug or something. I was in the jungle and I saw him doing this as well. Might be because of the low temperature. Or the high temperature, I don't know, depends. Nothing in here. I have to see. I mean, basically, I have to die and see if we can reset this state. This is like me on the Monday mornings at work. Investigating sounds like an interesting prospect. And you are supposed to take the ramp through here, through here, and then go over here on this little mountainous area. Go with the flow. Okay, stop picking all the berries. We don't need any more berries. We have enough berries to make another arc quest. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, but the water is very nice in this game. It feels so menacing, like anything could come out of it. Uh, like monster. Or some missile turrets. <laughs> Post lab entrance key. Yeah, that's not so bad. Touching <laughs> trash cans. Why? Well, I haven't done this in a while. The new lab coat in the flow that testing area. Company summer fest. Yeah. No, thank you. Looks like we'll get a new clothing uh, item, which will be the lab coat. Probably get a few more upgrades along the way. I also saw a shelter on the south side of the map, but we need another keycard to enter it, and that probably has another battery for the beam gun. Or the beam tool, because the <laughs> one of the scientists made it very clear in the notes. It's more like a tool than a weapon, but I guess if you have something like that, you are, you are always going to call it a gun. Even though it's a fancy tool. It's blocked well, I guess you don't have any options. You can either destroy the railing. Which I think is how people will do it. Or directly destroy the door. But that's probably going to take you a lot of a lot more farming if you're not at this level. I'm not sure. I think very few people farm this much. So we have kind of like uh <laughs> Team players that play games like this are divided into two categories. People who do the bare minimum and barely survive and barely get on. About 90% of people. And then you have 10% uh, of the people who farm it to the max, even more than me. Heavy equipment in front of the door, I don't know. What is the point of coming here? <laughs> so yeah, I imagine someone was already max level on the start of the DLC. My level is 71. I think I make 
about one level per two videos. Uh, apparently you can get in through here if you cannot destroy any of that or if you don't know how to do it. This was here all, the, all along? Huh? Probably. Wait, apparently this whole area was to give you options and I like options. Can I destroy this satellite dish? It feels like it's the 90s with that huge satellite dish. Very good meow atmosphere. This probably was the easy part. Feels moist. It's not so bright in here, so. Hmm. Or maybe we just need to sleep a little bit. Our character might be tired. I haven't slept in a long while in the game. Oh. Nice idea to get in touch with nature. He is not even close to me. Oh, nice little waterfall. I know I have a huge power fist, but I'm struggling to not destroy everything around me. Yeah, let's see if Slipping fixes his posture. He, he needs proper posture. He also has a sleeping bag, which he never uses. No, doesn't work. I don't know why it's like this. Probably just another bug. Okay, now you have my attention. Hey, it's a huge aquarium. But we have to go down all the way. That's actually useful. That means me. I have, I have forgotten to put. I have forgotten to put gold ore on the smelter, so I'm not producing any gold bars currently. That's a relaxing sound. I'm not a little golden fish. That's a window actually. Or a glass door. Or just glass. This makes me think how much gold will we need for the upgrades. Probably just to upgrade the technical stuff here. Yeah. That seems to fix most problems. I think my crit uh, from a backstab is massively overpowered right now, so that's why I'm one shotting those guys even. Even those guys cannot cannot tank my hits.
I didn't see any power node. Huh? This is weird. Where is the power? I mean, how do you turn on this? Oh. Oh. Take this. This looks like I could mess it up. Not as straightforward as I thought it would be. Actually, it is pretty straightforward. I just need to. Okay. okay. <laughs> this was the easy part. Let's, let's use the beam right there. Wait, where did the turret come from? Because this is solid concrete. Oh, well, not here. Okay. Oh, okay. So that means you cannot open both doors. Sometimes I have to open them out, so I have to make sure I don't lose anything. This is a bit annoying. Puzzles are fun, but they do they, they do take a little while to finish. I would normally jump down, but this time I'll not risk it because there's no fireplace nearby. There is a fireplace nearby, but it, I don't really consider that nearby. So for once, I will not risk it. Flash room. Oh, okay, this is probably where we find the lab code because they mentioned. Smell. Oh, okay, so this is a test chamber, probably to see if the zombies can survive being drowned. Well, they cannot be drowned. I mean, they cannot survive being drowned. But they're not really immortal zombies, they're just more like the garden variety zombie. Lab coat. And I also took the time to farm a lot of chitin just for things like this. Poison damage block. I'm not even getting poison damage. Go with the flow. <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, I, I mean, we're not sure because you never saw what happens after you pull the zombie out of the water. This was actually what you'd normally call a tiny area. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Look at the suit, and now you have a lab coat. From all manner of spills. I don't know, this one seems kind of useless, unless you're going to get an area with a lot of poison. you can upgrade it. I really wish this was better uh, organized. No. I think you can only upgrade the hats or some of the items like this. Yeah, so only the hats are upgradable. Why is the... Ah, whatever. Probably to fit the model. He <laughs> looks so weird. It's, I mean, his posture is a little weird as well. The Indiana Jones of Science Labs. Poison damage block, but... You know. Could be important. So we have done the coastline lab. So that means we... Probably have nothing left to do but to go to the... Red Wicket expansion site and then to Red Wicket itself and then to Glishpli and Oklinoko. Yeah, I think that would work. So we'd go over here, Red Wicket, and then go explore the south side. This is not such a big area, and as you can see, we have the tower over there, and I really want to activate the tower so I don't have problems with enemies anymore. Ooh. We cannot fast travel. Well, I guess we have to go out to the way we came in. Does anyone remember how we came in? And now you're going to make me go back for the loot. Little area, but I don't know. It felt kind of easy. I mean, this is how the game is supposed to be played without teleporting, without nonsense like that, but I just miss it sometimes. <laughs> Following me. There they listen. So yeah, let's also save our little progress over here so if we die we don't spawn in the lab because that would be kind of annoying. I guess while we're here we can explore the coastline a little more. I am only exploring for fish now. I don't really think I want anything else. I guess I can use a little more truffles. <laughs> so this is funny because it implies that people were alive after the zombie outbreak and they were testing zombies in various ways. So yeah, it doesn't seem like the inhabitants are so innocent now. the barbed wire. 
I imagine we can get that chest if we do okay. that. We should go on top of this ramp. This is the Three Sisters R&D complex. Sorry baby dear, <laughs> if I hurt you. <laughs> Also, I'm curious about this mana rift over here. Doesn't seem like we can exit, access it through normal means. Yeah, you have to have a nightmare. You need a bigger machete in this jungle because of all of the plants and all of the trees and all of the vines. And lower that bridge. I don't think there is anything of interest over here. And that's a giant leap for a zombie, a zombie nation. As you can see, I kept getting stuck on so many things, it became almost unbearable to, to play this at a decent speed. <laughs> so I was cutting down everything in the jungle, but at the same time I needed to clear my inventory space. Here he says the town must have been successful if they decided to expand it. It's the commentaries of the main characters are kind of funny most of the times. Red Wicked Expansion Site, okay. So this smells like loot to me. <laughs> Probably my first kill with the shovel. <laughs> Here's the big guy is shooting. This will technically be the first time we see that huge mosquito nest, which is disgusting. It's a combination of plant and flesh. I think that's the maximum amount of mosquitoes it can spawn. Doom hive. I guess a simple grenade would have done the job, but yeah. I guess I like using my sword. Like August from Asura's Wrath, nothing compares to the pleasure of using my blade or something like that. I can't remember the exact code. And he sold his name something like Wailing Wind or I don't know. It's been a while since I saw that scene. And by a while I mean um, a few months. So in another bit of the pleasure of being my plate. Oh, they killed me, they really killed me. I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention and they killed me. Well I guess it's a good area to farm the kite in, otherwise you'll have a lot of problems doing it. <laughs> That's a lot of kite and bananas. down the bridge mm -hmm. over there yeah, and that's kind of it that's the whole area over here the north expansion side so see most of these locations don't have anything for you to investigate <laughs> and 
just for gold. Oh, this would be super annoying if I didn't unlock the bridge. <laughs> Because that means we would have had to cross half of the map just to get back to this spot or die. And this is the whole expansion size, right? Right. Yeah. Not many activities to do over there, but I did find basically a basket of gold. Okay, let's go through Red Wicket. Maybe there's something interesting in here. Should get another cooking recipe soon. <laughs> That's what I call bad, bad planning. I think you can build the locker to destroy the roots Because the sword will only cut if you are in melee range Yes, that's it. Look at the distance at which, at which we gather the resources. That's amazing. Could have used this 100 hours ago. Yeah, that's, we're preparing for us two apparently. Who designed this place? The developer who designed it needs to have a, needs to do 100 push-ups. The doors barely close or open because of the furniture inside. Oh, two refrigerators. This is my kind of person. I like this person. He knows what's important in life. But you don't really put the waste bin near the refrigerators, right? That's a good idea, but back to the Stole the carpets. Now I have enough carpets to to put to make the carpet uh, make the whole floor a carpet in in the laboratory. Mini van users. Maybe I should have picked up the main quest as soon as I arrived here, but we'll do that now. Let me just explore this place. And this is an intact house, we rarely get an intact house these days anymore. Well... More or less intact. It's kind of been overrun by the jungle, slowly. And that's the new mosquito enemy as well. Not much. Oh, you do get a lot of chitin for clearing that nest. Oh, I closed the door and entered it. A 
Okay, let's have a little rest over here and now I, let's do the quest as well. Probably it's not a long quest anyway. It takes longer to load my inventory into the chest. That's that's a great design. A bit disgusting. Like fish, or they had cats. A golden treasure, you have my interest. Golden fairy tokens recipe. H9, what is H9? Ah, uh, that's going to be annoying to solve. H9. Oh, okay, so probably it's this tree over here. Get out of my game. This is kind of like the high apartment building we saw in the city. White banana. Finally, we're finding a resisting range damage 10%. That's a lot, actually. Considering we can also crit, having pure damage is good. It's very good. Looks like the earth earthquakes are also a big part of the problem. I guess the only thing we haven't found out is what caused the earthquakes. It's probably a bad idea to them hit on melee. Okay, let's explore this area a little more and then we'll go for the treasure because apparently that will allow us to craft to first the balloons or whatever they want to call it. An oil rig? Oh no, it's just a water tower. It's a diner. Le petit cochon. Yeah, French is weird sometimes. Truffles and rice. That would be the best place to give you a recipe, but hey, I guess they missed the opportunity. Okay, so this is the tree. J11 I have to search more Okay, so I have to go there next, but let's finish this area first and then we'll hunt for the treasure a little more. I mean, some people's treasures is gold, other people's treasures is carrots. Because carrots are very healthy for you, right? Other people is truffles just because they eat food. Truffles are pretty good, I would say. Uh, 
Well, it depends on how much money you have. If you have a lot of money, you can eat very interesting food at a restaurant with truffles. If you don't have money, you can just do it like me. Buy truffle chips. Truffle flavored chips. And they sprinkle a little bit of truffles on top of them. That's all you get. But yeah, I guess it's the only way I know the flavor. Probably not a very good, uh, not a very exact flavor of truffles because they are from potato chips, but it's very nice. Okay, so I have searched all of the buildings in theory. Let's farm a little more chitin. Oh no, we have one more building and then we can go. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to search everything because most of the locations will not have much loot for you. It looks like this is a hospital. Yeah, they probably knew all about it and they... I don't know. The game story is great until a certain point where it becomes a little more like speculate, speculation work, speculative work. Okay, so they said J11. That feels like it's a little too far away. Okay, let's go all the way over there. I can't use the teleport yet. Because technically I'm not supposed to know about this area over here with the tower. I will just leave some leaves for other people. Oh, we're almost leveled up again. Oh! And this is why you always want to play with the ascension signal on. Just because of that can happen so much. And it did happen a lot while I was playing. I mean, all, all it needs is one second. One second of bad luck. So, this, ima this map I don't think is really well designed because you cannot see anything because of the dense jungle most of the times and there are vines everywhere, so you'll get stuck on stuff. Okay, so it's that bedroom over there. And this is like a fort area, they're building a fort over here. That zombie fell. <laughs> well, that happened to me a lot of times, so I guess I can't really blame the zombie for that too much. Or toasters in hope of everything scrap to make it makes you afraid you. Oh yes, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, I guess you can upgrade the grenades. Let's upgrade the wrench. I 
Titanium baseball cap. Nah. Nature candy, but of course. Hunt him. Truffle lasagna. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. I want to minimize the damage I do to this place because I like how it is. Kind of like a high top fortress. With the kitchen, the research area over there. This is the bedroom, nice. We... What? We are still not done? <laughs> yeah, this is a very good idea to build fortifications, but it looks like it was overrun by zombies. I-9. Down there. Okay, let's see if I do sleep. I was not planning on making the video so long, but I have to see where that one is. Oh, it's okay. It's over here. Somewhere over here. Well, we're very... <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Surprised the tower is over here, I would have never guessed it. <laughs> Spices, I haven't seen those in a while. Okay, so what happens if you activate the essential signal while the tower while the enemies are dead? I guess they don't respawn. Oh, that's a big area over there, I have to check out. Oh, we have one more area, that's so cool, we have one area, two areas. Nice. And fire triangulation. Ascension signal. Oh, deadly transmission is the one I need. Scanner radar. I'm looking for that in as well. Well, looks like we cannot go through here. That hurt a little bit. Inside wooden houses make me destroy almost the entire house. Ah, never again. I just have to cook the truffle lasagna. It seems like finding a cooking place in this. Ok, 
Okay, so do I need to do anything in this area? I need to fish. Ah, sorry about the other video. I just want to get everything done. Especially because this area doesn't have a lot of loot, so coming back here seems like it would be a waste of time. <laughs> also, I also think all of the bonuses are very good if you play for a very very long time, but otherwise it's not worth hunting all of the food recipes or the little trinkets here and there or upgrading everything to the max because you barely use 90% of them. Writer's block. Okay, so I guess we had uh, an artist over here. Oh, look at the left side of the screen. It shows I have 141 monsters left. I don't remember that being there. So, I-9. Okay, so it has to be a camp just straight forward. Yellow tent. Yeah, we have some turrets in this area for whatever reason. I guess it's up there. Oh, we also have a lovely beach. But how do you get up there? Yeah, sorry about this. You have to look super carefully for I-9. Yeah, it looks like I have to go up, but how? Scotty beam me up. And yeah, not today, Turret. Okay, oh. Might be able to go through there. But we cannot let the Turret leave, it shot at us. Jungle Lampard. I hear zombies all over the place. It's annoying that they can do that. Hey, it's your loss. What a nice place over here. <laughs> I don't want to destroy anything. It's such a cool place. <laughs> Except it doesn't even have a fireplace or a refrigerator or a stove. That's, they meant a yellow tent, but that's not a tent. Right? Okay, let's not think too much about it. And let's call that a yellow tent. The water spill at G7.
Wait, are they serious? G7 is all the way over there. How? Okay, let's investigate this area. It shouldn't be too big. <laughs> I guess he was the man of the house. Sitting on his porch. All the corn. Running speed 5% is pretty huge actually. Yeah, it feels like the upgrades you can get from the DLC are so much better, like 100% more materials, run speed. The loot magnet, the upgraded loot mag magnet I mean. I keep pressing and holding the button to charge my attack, but it doesn't work all the time unless you have an enemy selected. And I keep forgetting about the, you know, the feature where you can lock on to enemies. Never use that. Maybe once or twice. Maybe. Guild Octopus. Poison damage block 7%. What is this poison damage I keep hearing about, huh? <laughs> Are they preparing me for something really really bad I will not enjoy that I will not enjoy? That's why you have to search all locations, sadly. I wish you can go to Kaploa before you go to that other one. Wow, this video will be super long, but eh, I guess it's super fun. Let's do this right now because next time I'll forget. And I really mean it, I keep forgetting a lot of stuff and I want to just do the main mission but explosion is such a big part of the game I don't want to miss it. I prefer to have this longer episode sometimes so we can have the smaller ones in between. I haven't seen a wish to go to that That turret is super dangerous. My house. Yeah, the design of the houses and some of the other things is not great. Hope they were rushed a little bit. It's like I'm the taxman and I'm here to collect. Yeah, yeah, this game is pretty intensive on your fingers because if you would see the... I'm basically pressing 3 or 4 keys at the same time to walk in the diagonal and also change the camera angle. Choose a reward. Well, I, I'm not sure. I guess I could go for the eggs. Probably the eggs is the best option. That's kind of funny that they can give you gold bars as well. And that five percent running speed sure hits the spot. 
Yeah, water spill at G7. What do they mean by G7? There's nothing at G7. Oh no, it's the red week over here. Hey, okay. Lucky for me, I did all of the bridges. Otherwise, this would have been a nightmare. Nightmare to cross, nightmare to do. I don't know really need that one. Pitcher. This pitcher is the best option since Doctor heals me almost to full with a single bandage. I even forget what healing item, what other healing items we have. I guess you can simply use the mouse like this. Water spill? What do you understand by a water spill? No idea what qualifies as a water spill at G7. So I'll just destroy everything to take my anger out. Oh, that building is all destroying. Oh, okay. It was a battle. It was a battle all along. Oh, you get a few items. Oh wow, this treasure hunt is... A verb dies of the ferryman. Yeah, this was one of the longest quests in the game. We needed to go through three or four areas almost. So let's see what they give us. The eyes of the ferryman, come on. <laughs> I think this is kind of like a reference to the coins you use to pay to the ferryman when you die, that myth. And, well, normally I would say this is amazing, this is an amazing item, but you also have the rubber ducky, which prevents you from drowning in water. You also have the teleporter, so you keep all of your materials when you die. I guess some people will prefer to play with the golden fairy tokens because that means you the duck is almost useless. <laughs> Unless you want to traverse a relatively annoying area. So have the lab furniture. I have to make that as well, so I probably have to make a new house with all of the stuff we have. Yeah, face building has become a lot more enjoyable with these two DLCs, 1940s furniture. So we'll have the the ancient furniture, the living room decorations and the lab stuff. <laughs> that will look kind of fun. The new buildables and okay, we'll see that later. So we did the red wicked stuff, we did the entire red wicked, I'm sure of it. Also did the 
sau jungle. I guess I haven't been to the to the plantation, to the banana plantation. Okay, let's do a little more. Let's play a little more. But I did install it, I didn't. Oh yeah, because this is the red weak area which is to that tower. Uh, we cannot do this one because we need a yellow key card. I think I did most of the stuff anyway. I'll just explore this southern area and when we meet each other next time, we will go into the base. Bye bye.